The Auto Count tool allows on-screen takeoff to search for and apply count items on your job based on the symbols in the drawings. This can potentially save you a lot of time and clicks when taking off items such as switches, fixtures, windows, and more. To use the Auto Count feature, begin by selecting a count condition from the Conditions panel on the left side of the screen. Then, find the symbol on the sheet that corresponds to that item. Instead of performing the usual point and click takeoff, you should click and drag a box around the symbol in this instance. Once you release your mouse, an Auto Count tool window displays. In this window, you can more clearly define the parameters of the symbol to identify exactly what the system should search for. There is an eraser tool on the right that you can use to erase extra pixels that aren't needed for this symbol. Once you click on the eraser button, just click and drag over the parts of the image you want to erase. Once the symbol looks the way you want it, you can then set the sensitivity level. This allows you to choose how closely the shape on the image must match the shape in your window for OST to recognize it. The higher the sensitivity, the fewer matches you'll get, but the matches are generally more accurate. However, if you set the sensitivity too high, you might miss potential matches. If you lower the sensitivity, you typically receive more potential matches, but the matches are generally less accurate, and you must then sift through more mismatches. When in doubt, experiment with the sensitivity a little bit. Every plane is different. Some images are clearer than others, and some have more overlapping objects than others, which can cause auto count to miss items. Adjust the sensitivity and rerun the scan a few times to see how that affects the search results. Once you've set the sensitivity where you want it, select Search. OST then searches the image on which you're currently working. It does not search the entire plan set. Once the results display, you can see the number of found matches at the top of the window. Note that the window can be resized so you can see more matching results at once. Now, go through the list and review each match. Deselect each object that doesn't match your indicated symbol. If you're noticing a large range of error in the displayed matches, you can adjust the sensitivity level over on the left side of the window and then press search again. At the bottom of the window, you can also select all or unselect all. The preview button allows you to see where these objects would be counted on your plan before accepting them. A red outline displays around all of the potential matches on the image. Once you're satisfied with your selections, select Accept Count. OST then places the condition symbol in all of the indicated locations on the plans and updates your each quantity automatically. It's important to double check Auto Count's results. Zoom to a level at which you're comfortable reviewing the image and then work your way through the sheet using the Pan tool. Locate any instances of the symbol that might have been missed or any instances you accepted an error. You can manually add more of an item after performing an auto count using the traditional point and click method of performing count takeoff. You can use the select tool to select an item added by mistake and then press the delete key to remove it. Auto count works best when you have a unique symbol and a clear image. If you're using blurry or grainy images, it is often difficult to get the desired results using auto count.